if you want great action. Ah! How cool is that? And great variety. Look no further than the famed Palm Beach area on Florida's east coast. Watch your fingers. Go, 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 go. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that the most awesome thing you ever saw? How cool is that? We're on a fish. Whoa. Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM. When most people think of fishing out of the Palm Beaches on Florida's east coast, they envision large sport fishing boats chasing schools of wintertime sailfish along the edge of the Gulf Stream. Florida's incredible sailfish fishery was born here in the 1930s and 40s, and it's still thriving today. Sailfish Marina has long served as ground zero for many of the thousands of fishermen who have made their way to the Palm Beaches looking for sails through the decades, and there's no better base of operations anywhere, no matter what fish you seek. The fishing around Palm Beach isn't just about sailfish. My old friend, Captain Greg Bogdan, pioneered light tackle angling out of a small boat for an astounding variety of species, right in the shadow of the opulence of Palm Beach itself. While others blow out the Lake Worth Inlet in pursuit of sailfish and never give the nearshore fishery a second thought, Bogdan has been busy guiding his clients to one incredible catch after another, right near shore. So Greg, uh, the Palm Beach area is unique because I believe it's the closest spot to the Gulf Stream in the continental United States, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right off the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach, they say it's the closest spot on the East Coast. Which is just a couple miles yep. south of it. You can yep. see it sort of juts out to the east. And this inlet, we get some really deep water. The inlets to the north and the south of us are relatively shallow inlets. This inlet's about 50 feet deep with the shipping channel, and uh, it holds a lot of really big fish. I see a dark patch right, right there. there. Yeah. That looks like a decent school of them. Pull up wind to these guys and get a good cast into them, see if we can hook a double header. They are flashing. We'll get two rods going. Yeah. Just drift down on them? Yep. Oh, yeah, look at them all. Oh, you're on. <laughs> All right, my turn. Just off to the side. There he goes. Yeah! <laughs> you know, it's funny that some people look down on jacks because they're really not very good to eat. But for a sport fish, I mean, it's hard to beat them. Oh, they're incredible fighting fish. We're catching them on really light tackle. And, uh, you know, to be able to go someplace and consistently get bites on fish over 30 pounds. There's a lot of stuff that mixes in with these. So you have the opportunity to catch a lot of other stuff kind of mixed in with these schools. And, you know, Palm Beach is so identified with sailfish that it's amazing how many fish are really here, how many different species. A lot of people just go blasting out of the inlet and don't even, don't even look around. I always have to stop for a couple of minutes, even if I'm going sail fishing. Hello, big fella. Still kicking. Come on. Twins, they look like twins. I know, bookends. They're saying to each other right now, how the hell did we get into this mess? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of these guys. One. All righty, see you, buddy. There's that one. Let's bring this guy up and take a look at him. Oh, there that's he is. A nice one. All right. You know the cool thing about jacks, man, is that every single species of jack that I can think of is a good fighter. Oh yeah, that's I can't a good think of one that's not. It's probably about 30 pounds. Yeah. Good size fish. Absolutely, world class. All right, world class. Let this baby go. I love jacks. See you, buddy. Goodbye. All right. All right. Let's Excellent go catch job. something else. Let's nice. do. Let's do. And that jack fishing is awesome stuff. Coming up next, it's spinner time. Ah! <laughs> How cool is that? Look at those teeth, man. They got some dentition. They go. Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM, is brought to you by RAM, engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, RAM.
by Yellowfin, the choice of champions. By the new Simrad NSS touchscreen display. And by Mercury Marine, celebrating 75 years of marine excellence. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM. For decades, the Palm Beach area has been a top fishing destination for anglers from around the world. During our trip, we had partly cloudy weather with 76 degree water and an air temperature of 79. The barometer was falling as the wind picked up throughout the day. Greg, we're re-rigging. We're gonna try to find a spinner shark. Tell us about rigging for those. Well, we're gonna use one of these spinning rods. With this braid, I usually do a 50 turn bimini twist and I'm gonna tie a piece of 150 pound mono. You gotta use a pretty heavy leader for these guys. Yep. When they jump and spin, they wrap up in it, they don't they? completely wrap the line yeah. around their body. If you use too long of a piece of wire leader, what'll happen is they jump and spin up. They flex their body and break and it. And that body will flex and break it. So you wanna use at least 150 pound. Thank you, sir. And uh, what happens once we get them on, you know, when they're running, we actually give them you know, bow to them a little bit when they're jumping. Try and uh, try and keep that line loose when it wraps around their body. They're amazing animals. I've caught every kind of shark there is, and this is hands down <laughs> the, the most shark. amazing jumping shark you'll ever see. Yeah. We're gonna cast out in front of them and just let the bait soak there, and should get a bite within a, a minute or two. That's all sharks right there, isn't it, Greg? Yep. Wow. Like 40 feet from the beach. Yeah, there's a bunch of them coming this way yeah, too. Yeah, man. So. Look at that. That's solid. Spinner shark. I'm gonna throw this bait right in there and wait for the bite. Looks like a good spot. I'd say that's a good spot. Right in the middle of about 400 of them. Oh yeah, he's right here. He's about 20 feet away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, just watch it. Oh, that was so cool. Come on, do it, do it, do it. There he goes, and he is flying. The big blue water carnage rods got some low end to them, man. You can put some heat on. Oh, absolutely. You put a big torque spinner on there, you got a heck of a combo. Coming up. There he is. Boy, he's pretty, isn't he? These are definitely my favorite fish to catch at this time of the year. They fight incredible, really good jumps. Yeah. It's really an awesome sport fish. One of the best fighting sharks you can catch. I know. He circled right in the corner of the mouth. Perfection. What a beautiful fish. What a beautiful shark. Watch your fingers. Look at those teeth, man. They got some dentition. Big out. See you, buddy. See you, man. All right. All nice right. Nice shark. That was awesome, man. All right, let's catch another one. Let's do. That was cool. My turn now. We're going to put the kite out here with a live bait on it. That's a great idea. See if we can get a good visual of the bite. Surface bite, leader. huh? And we'll see if we can wind the bait away from him once or twice and get him to stick his head out of the water. There you go. I like this plan. You see the bait splashing on the surface there. That's putting off a, a good vibration. The sharks are swimming around. They'll actually you know, sense that vibration of a right. struggling bait fish, Crazy and then man. they'll pick up that scent. Now he smells it. Now look at him banging a U-turn. He's on it. He's oh, on it. He's on it. He's on it. I think there's a couple of them there. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he, missed. he didn't miss it that time. Now. Yep. Ah! Coming right at you. <laughs> How cool is that? Nice jumper. And why do they call them spinner sharks? Yeah, there you go, oh. that's why. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good jumper there. Yes, that's sir. why they call him a spinner shark. Every time I see this, I'm still amazed by it. When we first pulled in here, there was that huge school. There's probably a couple hundred spinner sharks there in that school. And you see, when we pulled in, they're very, very spooky. My guess would be that there's a big hammerhead in here. These hammerheads will actually come in and corral the spinner sharks up and they'll ball them up. You don't really think, you think of balling bait like small sardines or pilchards, you don't really think about 100 pound sharks getting balled up. Come on, Bubba. All right, that's a good looking shark. 
there's literally thousands of them. Between Jupiter Inlet and Boynton Inlet, there's probably close to 10,000 fish, and they just hang out here right on the beach. Greg, let's send him on his way. All right, buddy. Thanks for the fight. Spectacular aerobatics. That was cool, man. Yep, good job. Nice shark. What's not to like about that? Oh, great jumps out of that Those one. Those fish that was awesome. have everything, man. They have acrobatics. They're beautiful. They're strong. And there's a lot of them. In Palm Beach, we used Penn's Regiment, International, and Blue Water Carnage rods paired to Spin Fisher V and Torque spinning reels and Torque lever drags. These were spooled with Berkeley Nanofill Unifilament and Prospect Monofilament. Coming up. Another fish on. <laughs> Double header. There he is. Oh, you nice. <laughs> Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram, is being brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. By Berkeley Gulp Saltwater, outfishes all other bait. And by Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Driven to Fish, powered by Ram. The Ram Heavy Duty 2500 pickup was made for those of us with real world loads to haul and big trailers to tow. The 2500 is offered in seven different trim levels and comes standard with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 gas engine and a six speed automatic transmission. If you need more power, you can always add the available Cummins 6.7 liter turbo diesel option with a six-speed manual or automatic transmission for maximum power. All Ram Heavy Duty 2500s come with the Uconnect 3.0 system, which offers everything from a four-line text display on basic models up to an 8.4-inch touchscreen with GPS, Bluetooth connectivity, and much more. Ram Heavy Duty 2500 interiors range from fabric and vinyl to leather trimmed upholstery, so you can get premium comfort and convenience along with all that power and towing capacity. Ram, the best of both worlds. As the breeze picked up during the day, we decided to make a move offshore in the hopes of getting a bite along the edge of the Gulf Stream. What are we looking for? Maybe a sailfish? A uh, sail, dolphin, maybe a big king. All right. I think initially we're going to start with just mono out. Uh, there have been a couple sail bites here today, so try for a sail and a dolphin. And uh, we're going to fish a rod on the bottom and see if we can catch a cobia. Sail. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Why don't you slide up front here? Come on, sailfish. Uh-oh, what was that? Another fish on. <laughs> Come under me, man. Double header. There he Sail, is. Oh, you nice. Look at him go. I love it, little guy. How awesome is that? Good stuff, good job. Oh, yeah. Coming to us, coming to us, nice. right to us. Come on, come on, come on, come on in the boat. Right in the boat. Nice, good jump. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that dude. was nice. Is that the most awesome thing you ever saw? There's mine jumping out there. <laughs> what happened here, John, is the wind picked up, you know, a lot better for flying the kite, but it really got a little bit choppier out here, and, and a lot of times that's what it takes to turn these fish on. They're jumping on the bait like there's no tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's a nice here, one. Here, buddy. Yeah, good size one. Yeah, he is. Look out, John. Still lit up. Nice, 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 nice. And I never get tired of that, ever. See, See ya. Bud? All right, here Have we go. Have a good day. All right, let's go get yours. There he is. There's the knot. Nice job. That's a tag. Let's cut it off. This fish has been tagged by another angler some time ago, it looks like. This thing's old. Got it. All right. There it is. Look at that, man. Yep. Tag cool fish. That? Old tag, too. It's an old tag. I can't wait to find out where it was tagged. You know, it's so cool to see a tagged fish. The, the tagging program of the Billfish Foundation is so important. 
Uh, people participate in it all over the world. And this is not a very big fish, so this thing was really small when he was tagged. Oh, yeah. Like. Yep. Oh, he looks pretty healthy. Let's turn him loose. Let's do that. We'll send that tag in to TBF and find out exactly where he came from. All right. All right, little guy. See you later. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. All right. Nice work. Thanks, buddy. Kick it strong. The billfish we caught today had a tag in it, a dart tag, which are the very common tags issued by the Billfish Foundation that anybody can buy and anybody can implement. They're a lot of fun. They help you get involved in the conservation program. You're a part of the team. The fish we caught today was tagged three years ago by Captain Bouncer Smith off Miami, so about 80 miles to the south. It had been at large all that time, and we don't think it grew very much. So the theory there is this might have been a male fish, because male fish grow much less than female fish do, at least with billfish. So this fish was estimated in 2010 as a fish that weighed 40 pounds, and we estimated in 2013 the fish still weighed 40 pounds, which gives evidence that it might be one of those male fish. But it is fascinating and fun to be part of the tagging program, so if you've never done it, you ought to get involved. To find out more about tagging, check out the Billfish Foundation website at billfish.org. Coming up next. Whoa. John, I'm used to getting wet back and down on sails, not going forward on them. Oh, man, look at him go. Big one. Man, that's a that's big one, That's a big one, sail. That's probably an 80-pound sail. Yeah, it is. That's a nice one. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram, has been brought to you by Ex Officio, made to adventure. By Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. By Isla Morada, the sport fishing capital of the world. And by Powerpole, swift, silent, secure. out here in you know 120 feet of water. The Gulf Stream's so close here, really got a lot of tide. We have you know three and a half knots of tide here this afternoon. We are smoking it to the north, man. We're, we're drifting sideways, uh, yeah, 3.4 right. knots. The you know tide inshore is a little bit slower, so it's making this nice edge. That's why it's a little choppier right here. We got a pretty strong edge running along here at about 120 feet of water. Palm Beach offers incredible sailfish action very close to shore. Fish on! Good bite out of the kite. Taking a lot of line. It's a good fish. Oh, there it's jumping sail. Sailfish, all right. All righty, we're coming up on him. He's not far off, is he? Uh, he's about 50 or 60 feet. Good size sail. It is a nice sail, man. Hang on. Whoa. John, I'm used to getting wet back and down on sails, not going forward on them. You're used to fishing in bigger boats. Yeah, bigger boats. What are you doing to me? <laughs> here he comes, coming up. There. Oh, right there. Nice sail. Look at him oh, jump in man, there. Oh, man, look at him go. Big one. That's a big sail. That's probably an 80-pound sail. Yeah, it is. That's you a know, nice A lot one. of the fish we catch here are 40, 50 pounds, but this is a real fat one. This is why I love fishing Palm Beach, John. Huge variety of fish all within two miles of the inlet. I know, man. You go out here all day and burn four gallons of gas. Yeah, well, that's a big fish. When they turn over on their side, put up their sail, it's like pulling a bucket through the water. Coming up again. He's right here. Look, look, look. He's right here. There he is. All right, let me come grab him. Fat sail. Fat sail. I think he's got some shoulders on it. Yeah, he does. All right. Come here, Bubba. Biting my hand, man. He's doing good. All right. We're just going to drag him here for a second, get some oxygen going back in his gills. That one, uh, that one fought real good. He's good, man. You want to let him go? Another sail. Got a sail Got on? another sail on the long kite. Here we go. See you later, buddy. All right. So, John, I fish a rubber band underneath my cork. That way, I can fish a smaller leader to my swivel and I can still slide the cork up and cinch the rubber band down. Yep. Then when I get to the rubber band, I just wind through it. This way, I don't ever have to touch the leader. I can just reach out with the gaff and gaff him. This guy's feisty. 
He is spicy. Half the size of the other one. Look at the tail on that. It's beautiful color. He's gorgeous. You're asking me to bill him? There you go, John. I got him. Yeah. Hello, buddy. Hello. Oh, he's still feisty. Oh, yeah. All right, here's your pliers. Thank you. Get you off, send you on your way. All there he right. Goes. How's he looking, John? He's looking really, really good, man. All right, we'll turn that He's guy loose. He's strong, no, none the worse for wear at all. See ya. All right, he looks good. Yeah, I looked back there, the rod was doubled over and he was way out there jumping, that was neat. Greg, I want to thank you for an awesome trip. This has been everything Palm Beach has always been to me. Every time I come here, I catch a lot of fish. And if you're ever in the Palm Beach area, look this guy up, Captain Greg Bogdan, Sailfish Marina and Palm Beach Shores. What's your website? Permittedcharters.com. The charter boat permitted. I'm John Brownlee for Sport Fishing Television. Thanks a lot. Accommodations provided by Sailfish Marina in Palm Beach Shores, your fishing headquarters in the Palm Beach area. To learn more about Sport Fishing Television powered by RAM, visit our website at sportfishingtelevision.com. And be sure to visit us at facebook.com slash sportfishing. Next time on Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM, we travel to Sitka, Alaska for non-stop action out of Kingfisher Lodge with halibut, salmon, lingcod, and more. Yeah! All right! All right.